Hey everyone, nice to meet you all y'all. Um, my name is Ayush Jain. I'm co-founder and CTO here at Altro. Three years ago, my co-founder Michael and I embarked on this journey to fix the financial system. Little did we know what we were getting ourselves into. Um, we found ourselves going deeper along this path of uh, discovering what it really meant to fix access to the financial system more than the financial system itself. Uh, and then we found ourselves in the space of credit. Um, when we got deeper and deeper into the credit space, uh, we realized how broken it was, uh, how many people are suffering from so many different issues, being able, unable to enter any sort of access into financial products. Uh, the credit system works for a lot of people, but also doesn't work for a lot of people. Uh, there's a lot of people that are completely unseen, uncounted. Um, there's people that are considered outsiders that are looking into the credit system, but just have no way to access it. Uh, and that's why we're called Altro. Altro means other. Um, and as Mike and I went down this journey uh, of figuring out what it meant to actually fix the credit system, um, we came upon three major realizations. Uh, which really seeded the core ideas for how we're thinking about product here at Altro. Um, the first of which was the complexity in the financial system. Uh, right now, as, as someone who's entering the financial system, um, you know, whether that's young folks, the underbanked, uh, underprivileged, the immigrants, um, really anybody who doesn't have access to financial product, it's very difficult uh, to get your first product or even get your first credit score. Uh, and I myself, when I was a student at USC, uh, three years ago when we just started the company, I was getting my first credit card at 19, uh, I had no idea what to look for. Uh, I, I heard everyone was getting the Discover student card. My family was banking with Wells Fargo. Uh, you know, we, I went through all the hurdles of learning what APR was, rewards, optimizing the annual rates, all of that stuff. And pretty much, you know, I, I found myself like dizzied in all these different terms. And that's something that everyone who's entering the financial system has to deal with today. Uh, whether you're locked out of it because you were previously in debt, or whether you're getting into it for the first time as an immigrant or a young uh, individual. Um, the second thing we realized was that there's also a lot of fear of the financial system. Um, there's a lot of people fearing it because of anecdotal stories, um, hearing about previous uh, stories about friends and family uh, who may have gone into circles of debt, cycles of debt. Um, and, you know, when, when a lot of folks hear that, maybe folks outside of this room, um, you know, the word debt and the word credit and loans, it, it's almost like a stigma for a lot of these folks. Um, and, and the last thing we realized was also the predatory nature of a lot of the elements in the financial system. And this come down, comes down to a number of different things. Uh, one is around predatory lending, which a lot of us have talked about already. You know, there's, there's a lot of financial products out there that are offering ridiculous APRs, um, you know, pretty much entrapping people into these cycles of debt. And then there's also the other aspect, which is completely ignored, which is uh, predatory reporting. Um, and really, the way our credit system is built thus far is it's very much more focused on accountability and punishment rather than on growth. Um, you know, a lot of these institutions are focused on dinging people when they miss the payments rather than giving them credit for the payments they're already making. And all three of these things really came into the thesis as to how we came into our first product, which is a subscriptions card. Uh, we realized that people want to focus on just making the payments. They don't really care how it's being made. You know, like whether that's on a credit card or a debit card, honestly, a lot of folks are just making them on debit cards and they're not even getting credit for that. So when we came together and we, we, we brought this together, all these three pieces, these seeds, um, that's, how we got the, uh, that's how we got the card product here. Uh, and I'm gonna demo that in just a second. Here we have the homepage of the Altro app. Uh, at the top is where we normally have our credit score. I had mine hidden for privacy reasons uh, and then Below, we have our subscriptions card, which is essentially a no-fee card that is just focused on getting your subscriptions. Uh, we're trying to track all sorts of recurring payments, uh, but essentially, Altro is mobile-first, fee-free, and we're really just focused on getting these payments reported. So once you jump into the Altro app, um, 
you see some intro slides. It's just a debit card that has a line of credit attached to it. So you could put your subscriptions on it, and we advance all of those payments. Um, once we do that, uh, we just have to collect payments on a monthly basis. And we could trigger that on other increments as well. Um, the first thing we got to do, too, is uh, also connect our account. I thought I had one connected before, but it uh, looks like I didn't. Um, and I'll just set that up real quick. And this is a demo here. Um, but once you connect your account, um, and you need to have at least uh, $75 in your account before you can get started, um, we're able to connect you with a line of credit, uh, which essentially is all of these terms and agreements. Uh, we want to keep them very clear to our customers so that they know what they're getting into. Uh, we also show all of our information regarding the line of credit, zero fees, repayment terms month over month, origination fee zero, uh, start date, uh, APR zero, and prepayment, repayment penalty is zero. Uh, but essentially, we're trying to provide the best experience to our customers while focusing on really just the aspect of repayment and encouraging better user behavior. And as you can see, that's the actual line of agreement. Um, and then once you enter the app, you can select the subscriptions you want. And just right there, that's how you get your Ultra card. And you can set up auto pay. And there you go. Uh, just as simple as that. Once you do that, you've got to tie it to your actual payments, and you're good to go. And then lastly, uh, I'll tie it in this a little bit too, but Ultra is really focused on financial literacy as well. And that's where we have our financial literacy section, where we have a bunch of content coming through. Thank you.